Good news, it stopped raining. Well, almost. Well? No. Why not? Isn't it obvious? It's obvious you're afraid to print this story. You ladies fight this out. I have to go to the bathroom. Coward. Mm -hmm. oh, Ballard throwing his weight around again. Nice photo. She won't touch it. Not with a ten-foot pole. No, I can't say I blame her. I'm allergic to unemployment lines, too. Just because Ballard owns half of Old Town. And a sizable chunk of stock in this newspaper. intimidated by the Lord. Well, I'm not, but this story is innuendo, and your photos are a guilty verdict. She sells out to the rich. You probably even vote Republican. Are you saying I can't cover a story anymore? I know you can't cover a story anymore. You know, I don't have to prove anything to you. It would mean dragging those sagging buns of yours out of your soft padded chair. Huh? I'll measure my percentage of body fat against your cellulite any time. How about the lard accumulating on your brain? You know it's almost worth taking a story just to shut your mouth. I don't have to worry about that, because you don't have the guts. All right. I'll take the first story that comes up. And let's just see if you have the heart and stamina to keep up. Right. The first story that comes up, unless you suddenly get a headache. No matter what, the first story that comes up. This just came up. Sewers is freeway for rats. A hot rains come, the sewers fill up. The rats, they gotta go someplace. That's why this little guy ended up in your toilet. <laughs> These little suckers are real good swimmers. You girls ever see the bowels of your building? What's the matter? My story too tough for you? This was about rats and, and sewers. Sewers? Well, would you rather be in the sewer? No. No, no, no. It's no problem because we can go down to requisition right now. We can get you some uh, hot hats and some rain slickers and, and, and some hip boots. We could go slushing around in a big old sewer main. <laughs> and you would look sexy in hip boots. <laughs> Here. Maybe I just wanted you lovely ladies over here for a little adventure. <laughs> this guy is too weird. You think so? Hey, hey, hey! What is this? No Shanghai tunnel, I'll bet you anything.
should be doing this. the story in the first place. Mr. Greengrass, hold up! alone. Oh, well, really? We'll get by without photos if it's a problem for you. Oh, cute. Real cute, Sharon. folks know that this town was one of the roughest, toughest of all the Shanghai ports on the coast. And in the old days, every bar had a trap door. Down here, thieves, wrong, tall, pimps, and crimps. from running in the dark and hurting yourself. Don't you know who he is? One of the big shot Ballards. Yeah. I guess you must say. I'm Ron. Lance's younger brother. I just started working for the company. And I'm terribly sorry we had to meet this way. What were you doing down here? I'll ask the question, Sharon. It's OK. It's a fair question. Excuse me. Give me a second. Oh. It's kind of like boot camp. Lance says if I want to work in his company, I got to get to know it physically. So he sent me down into the basements to check out the cobwebs. <sighs> Must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Thank you. It's 
very nice. Thanks. Wrong turn. Right. Oh, my God. What are you? Why'd you have to dare her to go out into the field? Now they've got me glued to this desk all the time. Where is she? Oh, off chasing rats again, I suppose. Look at this. Looks like a giant rat. And this. A semi-cute white guy. No, behind him. Pam's down there with giants and rat people? Herb! We're gonna have to find somebody else to babysit the city desk. And get some security guards down to the basement. <laughs> In case we need a backup. Backup? Treasure of the West. Uh -huh. The Age of Expansion. Shanghaiing days. Yes. Mm, impressive. Well, I realized I knew more about the history of Rome and Greece than I did about my own city. <sighs> There's something I'd like to know. What? How did you develop that right hook? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> I surprised you. Mommies don't teach their little girls those moves in the pantry. Well, my ex was into kickboxing, martial arts. So I became a sparring partner. We sparred a little too frequently, and we broke up. But now with this desk job, I try to keep in shape. No complaints here about your shape? No, I said I... know I... what she said. And I said you've got a great figure. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> now, I've read the old stories. You know, I know what it was like. Shanghai was no picnic. One minute you're free, and the next you're caught in some horrible nightmare. They'd grab you, <laughs> drag you down here, and you'd never be seen or heard from again. You're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scaring myself. Pam? Pam? I think we're lost. Here. Hmm. Looks like my place.
See, I don't have any real say in the business. Technically, my job is PR, but the way Lance operates, I feel like a one-man sewage treatment plant. Are you saying that your brother does more than just influence politics? <sighs> Let's not get into that now, OK? Would you like something more? Uh, no, thank you. Well. It's been a distinct pleasure having lunch with you. I've enjoyed it, too. I'm glad you knocked me down on my can. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Why, if we weren't lost before, we're, we're definitely lost now. Don't say that. Well, why not? It's reality. We could use now as a little positive thinking to create a more positive no, it'd be a lot easier to be positive if I was a rat person and hungry for lunch. I'd have two of us to choose from. Oh, great. <laughs> you see, the beauty of this is that the mix of high-rise office buildings, shops, and restaurants draws maximum commuter numbers. My clients appreciate your vision. Thank you. But they have their hearts set on a mall. Why another mall? There can never be too many malls. That will impact other businesses, including mine. Well, what is it? What did you find? Someone's glasses. Looks like our rat person already had lunch. Maybe. Just maybe. We can work something out. There's one more consideration. What's that? My people are concerned about all the undesirables on the streets. That problem is being taken care of. Sometimes I wish I was born a hundred years ago. Things were so much simpler then. You see, people tend to exaggerate the past. It makes the present more exciting. Still, I mean, if we found two connecting tunnels, it's probably more. No. What? That's impossible. We just, we just found the only two left. See, in the old days, there were a lot more. They needed them to transport the goods from the waterfront to the stone basements. So you're saying with the uh, modern construction and, and underground utilities... Uh... Exactly. Exactly. The only scary thing down there now is your rare punctured gas line. That's smart.
about her dress? Well, I can't help it. It's my nature as a sexual animal. What are you two doing down there? What are you doing up there? You're supposed to be down here in danger. Yeah, we got lost, and we're almost somebody's lunch trying to save you. Uh, look, you've got business to attend to. I'll be going. Uh, I'll call you very soon. Please do. members of society. <laughs> I know what that is, but, but why? Hmm. Okay. I'll be there. Good. I look forward to it. Yes? Did you see what he did to this building? The man can't even design a building! You hired him! I don't care. Look, I am look, sick and tired. I don't care if you don't like the way I do business. But all right, Lance! All right, Danny, look. Just do what you're paid to do! I'm sorry, Danny. I got somebody else in the office. And stay out of things that don't concern you. Yeah, that's right. I want him out of here. He's fired. I don't believe this. People making unilateral decisions, running around willy-nilly. You, come back. You're part of this. Now, if I had wanted to send people underground scurrying around for rats or rat people, I would have sent him. Me? Yeah, you. You're my city editor. You're married to this desk. If you get up to pee, I want to know about it. Great. And you, you're my photographer. Not my alter ego who hands out new assignments to personnel at The Guardian. I didn't. Mm. I... Are these the famous creature photographs? Those are the originals, and, uh, and, and, the, and the other ones are the blow-ups. Oh, yes, yes, this looks like a ratty something. <laughs> And a giant something else. Well, that's what I said. A rat person and a monster. It was a monster. I seen him. I seen him. It's a great big thing. It grabbed my friend Billy. Huge. It was, it was huge, like a, like a, a, a great Kodiak. Rare enough. Or a rattler. Don't walk like no human I ever seen. Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm Apple Bob. I'm a bum. The only bums allowed in here are the ones I hire. You know why they call me Apple Bum? Can you show me where they took your friend? Sure. You want to make a date? All right. Where are you going? Five o'clock. End of shift. Are you coming? I uh, can't. I've got something planned. This way, Mr. Bob. And where are you going? Home? Oh. Home is in this chair. You're on the city desk. It's been a little scheduling change. Do I get overtime? Did I dock you for skipping out and getting lost in a tunnel?
to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, over 15 billion man hours are lost every year to sleeping on the job. No wonder the Japanese are kicking our butts. We could be producing six billion more Ken and Barbie dolls and doubling our gross national product. Are you listening to me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. All right, listen up, you guys. I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is you're getting out of this rat hole. Meet the bad news. Why did you invite me here? What about Pam? Pam, I would like to have lunch with, but uh, you're the kind of girl I'd like to have dinner with, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you want to have lunch with her, but you want to play bogey and recall with me. Is that it? <laughs> it's night, see? And, and me and Billy sitting here by this here tree, just passing the bottle back and forth like the table. Out of the clear blue sky, wham! Bam, thank you, ma'am, and, and Billy's gone. Gone. Baboosed! Well, I thought you said you saw a monster. I did. Billy's gone, see, and, and I get up and I look around and nothing off to the south, nothing to the west, nothing to the east, but there to the north is Billy. With this huge monster carting them off. Did you see where this monster took your friend Billy? How could I? Black Knight. I couldn't see my foot in front of my face. You know why they call me Apple Bob? So, what do you do? I'm a photographer. I used to be a painter, though. I really wanted to be a painter. But I figured I wouldn't make a living until I was dead. Yeah. Are you all right? I know where that is. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Always end up with your hands in front, protect yourself at all times. Pam up. Sir. Demonstrate the kick I just did for the class, please. Pam! 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 If this is about 
McDonald's, rat people, or, or giant body snatchers. You can just forget it. Didn't you hear? Hear what? Ron and I were dead. What were you doing with Ron? What's with the tone of voice? You sound like you own him or something. Just because I go out to lunch with the guy, it means you gotta jump on his bod? Look, I didn't call him, he called me. It's not my problem that you had your chance in blue. You just wait a minute. What are you gonna do, knock me down too? You needn't bother, I can see how tough you are. Why should I knock you down? I've kicked enough ass today. The only ass I see is standing in front of me. You'd hardly be interested in tracking down a real clue to a murder. Murder? What murder? that to the police you could be cited for withholding evidence I don't want to bring it out in front of Ron oh you didn't want to pull it out in front of Ron and yet you trust him enough to have a romance with him I don't recall no. saying anything about romance I mean, and here you've got me boffing the guy already do you think that's fair okay okay it was a cheap shot I'm sorry Why don't you trust him? It's not Ron, it's his family I don't trust. Oh, yeah, that story about the conspiracy? And Mr. Moneybags wheeling and dealing in, in Old Town? I know you don't buy that, but that was my reason. So, what do we do now? You don't have to pursue this story just because of my stupid dare. Yes, I do. Did it ever occur to you I might be enjoying myself? Yeah. Closed. The door was open. Supposed to be. We can't.
came to identify a body. Her. Somebody we knew. The police said uh, on the TV that there was an unidentified drowning victim. Today, down at the waterfront? Did they bring him in here yet? We wanted to see if it was him. Our friend. Yes, he's, uh, he's been yeah. missing. Yeah. Is this the kind of man who hangs out on the freeway ramps? Yeah, that right. sounds like him. He's kind of a, he, he's, uh, he's kind of a bum. Bum. Bum, yes. Yeah, bum. <laughs> Must be pretty lucky bum to have two gorgeous girlfriends like you. Until he died, that is. Well, you don't seem too broken up about it. Well, well, I, he cheated I, on us. Wait here. He cheated on us? Yeah, don't you remember? <laughs> he cheated on us. I hope we got away with this. Uh-huh. Okay, we're on our way. Good. All right. You can come back now. This guy's got a lot of personality, huh? Glasses. Uh, where are they? That's police evidence. A pair of glasses is evidence? Of what? Thank you very much. We'll be going. Thanks. So helpful. I'm going to give him a tip. Okay. You're prostitutes, aren't you? So, where can we go to be more comfortable? Why can't we just go? Why can't you just sit down? Maybe you can learn something about makeup for the dead. say spectator sports, you're supposed to start to strip. Floor. They have 
attack me. Keep hands right to see them. They broke in. They're stealing. Look at our hands. Shut up. to work late and he's still here at the crack of dawn what devotion to duty <laughs> wait a minute where's pam uh, she's been detained what is wrong with her 24 hours ago she was my most dependable employee and sharon uh, um... don't tell me She's been detained, too. Hey! Hey! When do we have breakfast around this hole? Pam Weiss, Sharon Field. Here? Family name wasn't a liability. <laughs> you know, that coroner didn't want to forget that shot you gave him. <laughs> Do you uh, often deck two men in one day? Or more. He also said something about your trying to steal some eyeglasses. Mm, we might as well tell him everything. <sighs> I'd like to think you trust me. as I could reach. So, um, it was either put there or, or... Where's this lead? You're asking me? This is virgin territory for this kid. I found the land, so I guess I'm elected. Do you think I'd let you put your body on the line when mine's available? You two have been through enough for today. I'll crawl in. I have the reputation of my gender to uphold here. Bravery or stupidity? Mm. I guess that answers the question. Or else I'm afraid of being left alone in the dark. Careful. Well, he's not stupid. He certainly knows how to pluck your emotions. <laughs> what do you see in there? This is interesting. There's access to a sewer outfit. Why is that interesting? If a man enters the access at the wrong time, he could be swept anywhere. Maybe you should come back. I'll just be a minute. I want to check this out. If you can't hold up your end, my clients will just have to make adjustments.
Yes, I want to see my little brother. What do we do now? Light another match. I think that just about covered. That's it, then. Oh, Lance. I'm so glad you could come. It's always a pleasure. Bye. I'm delighted we've had this time to chat. So am I. We all want the same things, don't we? charge here? I'm the editor, if that's what you mean. Have Pam and Sharon come in? No. And my patience is beginning to wear thin. Who are you? Ron Ballard. Mr. Ballard, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you. It's quite all right. Did you know that your brother was just here? No, really? Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, I understand you had quite an experience with my photographer. I mean, it's one thing to write about bodies. It's another to actually find one. <laughs> Where are they? Well, they were in jail until I got them out. In jail? Do you think they went back to the tunnels? Were you the one down there with Sharon? You're not going anywhere. Understand? But, but where are they? I wish I knew. Get back to your post. I need to use the phone. Oh, certainly. Come with me. Thanks. Like that. I was afraid there was some permanent brain damage or something. Oh, oh. there is gonna be 
permanent damage if you keep hugging my hand like that. I'm sorry. I'm just so happy that you're okay. Oh, Pam! Oh! Wait. Uh, wait a minute. Do you know who you're talking to? This is Pam, the enemy. Enemy? Don't... How can you say... Don't ever say that. You're my friend. You can be so stupid sometimes. Here. This is the only place we can talk. Well, listen, if you go down to the tunnels, take me with you. I don't know if they're down there or not. You wait here. In case they go. Well, they can talk to Tamlin. Didn't you say Lance was in there talking to him? Jeez, that's right. Look, I don't want to say that your editor was involved or anything. Well, you better not take the chance. It's just that my brother's gone beyond the normal business procedure if you get my drift. He's got the kind of deals he's made us a long wolf. What do you want me to do? Look, what? Just sit tight. It's four o'clock. I'll call you in an hour. Fine. You gotta keep walking, or it's gonna stiffen up. Sharon. That's it. We just gotta find a way out of here. I know what I've seen. I've seen a monster, that's what I've seen. <laughs> Ain't no two ways about it. Can't tell me I ain't seen no monster, lady. I may be crazy, but I ain't blind. Edith, where's Ron? He didn't come back, did he?
don't want any police crawling around with that dead body and all. I don't want any close scrutiny. Is that understood? I said yes. You find them. You find them and you fix it. Gentlemen, Lance Ballard has had a change of heart. He would like to buy you all dinner. Really? And hear your thoughts on rampant commercialism. The soup of the day is cream of broccoli, and I suggest a lamb curry. So, if you'll follow me. Died and went to heaven. Thank God you're all right. Uh, Looks like he's more than all right. You know, if we weren't locked up now, if our lives weren't in danger, I consider this the highlight of my life. <sighs> Intimate company of two of the most brilliant, beautiful women. Ron, mm. you weren't just looking for cobwebs that day, were you? What do you mean? I want to know what's going on. That's what I mean. What? Now, what are you trying to hide? Hide? Yes. What? I bet it's like that story Wayne wrote that you wouldn't print. What story? Sharon, I'm the reporter here. I'm asking the questions, OK? Your brother has been buying up cheap property and muscling people around. That's right. Let's see. It's interesting you should use that word, muscling. Say you were both developers in the old town. Got great ideas, great locations. 
There's only one problem, bums. They've been here for 50 years and they won't budge. What do you do? Are you saying that your brother had these people forcibly removed? And killed? <sighs> In all fairness to Lance, I'm not saying he started out as a murderer. He was just obsessed with the tunnels and the good old days of Shanghai. He hired goons. Sometimes a man changes. Becomes the kind of dangerous. I scare you. You look at me like you think I'm the enemy. I, I do? Just because I had you work overtime one night doesn't mean you have to hang around all night, every night. Well, that's OK. <laughs> Nothing better to do. <laughs>
Everybody go. Where'd everybody go? I whooped that monster, and then the next thing you know, I, I, I turned around and every, every, everybody had vanished. Must have scared them bad guys off and saved the lady. That's what I done. I saved the lady. I like apple. Jonathan, do it. It's good. Where's that brother of mine? Hey, you don't want to ruin the surprise, do you?
carrying out your orders. Why, thank you very much. Sir. What orders? I gave no orders. Hey, Slater, what do you want me to do with the women? Well, if you don't bring them down here, they're going to miss all the fun. Oh. What women? My women now. you, boss. I should have printed Wayne's story and exposed you a long time ago. Look what you've done to my jacket. What's with you? Aren't you satisfied with your millions? Did you have to sell human beings just for a few more bucks? <laughs> Why'd you have to kill him? What are you talking about? Kill who? The whole gang is here. Roy! I, I thought you were... you were... Haven't you heard of fake knives and stage blood? That's so brilliant! Oh, that's so great. You're just so great. I love you. Do you just love him? Oh, I mean, I really love you. You wouldn't mind if I kissed you right here in front of everybody, would you? Jealousy, blackmail followed. He shot them and then iced himself. The bodies were found in the river. <laughs> what? <laughs> My men wanted the women. Afraid not, Captain. I need the bodies for credibility. <laughs> so that you could take over my business, isn't that right, little brother? Somebody has to, Lance. Now, with our escape, and that timely phone call, the White Knight here is going to save the world from the Shanghai King. My demise wasn't the only exquisitely staged event. Let's do it. Slater, stop it! Slater! You too, man. I pay better, Lance. You rich guys are a laugh riot. You let the bombs bust out of town, but you pay pennies. Pennies! How am I supposed to make rent? And you check out the price of pizza lately? Slater, if it's more money than... Forget it! The captain here pays by the head, and Ron gives us a cut. Forgotten what it's like to be an entrepreneur, have you, brother? All right, let's get on with it. Move out! You're so gullible. 13843, no one on the surface. She said she was in a phone booth on the corner of 3rd. 3rd's an awfully long street, buddy. Well, where are they? They found a large Mercedes. 
the dog. Any last words? What a coward you are to shoot them in the back like this.
well, look who's here. The gorgeous ladies of wrestling and their colorful manager, Wayne Brain. Rough night on the mats, ladies. You're late, her. Yeah, whatever happened to that dedication to duty? Do you have a wisecrack, too? Uh, oh, me? Uh, no, no, no way. I was out at the cop shop, and they had a lot of questions. About you. The rats and toilets. What is washing up? I've got giants. I've got rat men. I've got missing persons. I've got a murderer. I've got corrupt businessmen and cutthroat sea captains. I've got a Shanghai ring right here now in the late part of the 20th century. But do I have a story? Didn't you read the morning paper? supposed to go to sleep until you put your paper to bed, Herb. Yeah, and I thought you were supposed to stay in touch with your product. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me. Not bad. Not half bad. I've got a newspaper here. Do me a favor. Stay at that desk, okay? I've had enough of crime reporting to last me a lifetime. Look at that. These guys sure look like gangsters. Where? Down the block. They left their motor running. Went into a bank. Oh, no. No, no.
Thank you.